Hello, I'm our face of Mars, and lately I've been noticing a disturbing tr uh, trend among Christians that's really got me wondering what exactly is going on with all this uh, suffering is good stuff that I'm seeing. Now, this is really disturbing me. I'm not sitting here and picking on Christians or anything, but I'm wondering... I'm just amazed at how much things have changed. Was I when I was a kid? Yeah, you know, this was your religion. Uh, you sat there, you listened to the preacher, said hello to people, you put your money in the plate, and put your money in a brass plate, and then you're good for a week. That was your religion. Then I got into all this proselytizing stuff. And what have you. But now we have Christians actively seeking out suffering and thinking it's a good thing. I did a video about nine months ago on this subject and I find all of this very disturbing. Now, why do I find this disturbing? To show you uh, something, I have to go to a dirt bag who lived in. Uh, 1700s, 1800s. Now, this dirtbag's name, uh, Marquis de Sade, his, his actual name is a little different, but, uh, Donatien Alphonse Francois, otherwise known as Marquis de Sade. And one of his favorite things was to torture women and uh, children. Nice guy. And all, he spent 32 years of his life in jail and in mental hospitals because of his uh, weird sexual uh, appetite and what he did to women and children and what have you, and men too. This was a dirt bag, all right? But the problem is that modern Christianity, it seems to me, is getting dangerously close to the type of thing that this guy espoused. Um, the term sadomasochism is derived from this dirtbag's uh, se weird uh, sexual proclivities. And I think it's the masochism part that uh, is coming out in general Christian theology now. Masochism. The tendency to derive pleasure, especially sexual grat gratification, from one's own pain or humiliation with things such as bondage and masochism, it's all right if you both go for it. All right, so this is where, you know, this word describes this type of attitude that I'm seeing rather succinctly. Now we're going to take a look at something else. Now, just take a look at some of these headlines, especially the second one. What is the secret joy in suffering? That headline uh, describes masochism to a T. They're saying there's joy in suffering. They're uh, promoting masochism, basically, which we just defined a minute ago. Very, very disturbing that uh, Christians are taking this attitude that it's a good thing to suffer because your God wants, them, wants you to suffer. Now, I'm going to put this on hold for a sec and show you something else. Take a look. Uh, tribulation, persecution, great distress, end times, extreme warning, season of suffering is here. This is Lynn Liaz. Uh, I am subscribed to her on YouTube. But this is really getting weird. Alright? I don't understand what this fascination with suffering is. So I'm going to address it like this. I'm going to give you an example, and then we're going to give you 
a bigger example, and some of you aren't going to like this. <laughs> Too bad. All right, let's say you have a puppy. Average garden variety spot, what have you. Would you let a neighborhood bully uh, torture that puppy in order to prove its loyalty to you? I would think most of you would have the dirtbag arrested. Wouldn't you? Uh, you'd have him arrested and thrown in the cow, right? I would think so. Now let me ask you another question. Would you allow some dirtbag to do the same thing to your children? Ah! I thought you got out of life! No, I'm making a point here. Okay. Because, here's the thing. We have countless thousands of Christians sitting in uh, prison camps all over the world being persecuted and we're told this is a good thing. But what you're not pointing out, what I'm pointing out here by using these comparisons is your God is doing nothing. I mean, God is so much more than we are I would think he would do something to stop this. Give me the power and those prison camps are done in an hour. You know, you're in the one, they uh, raise their guns, zap, 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 people released and fed and housed. Next one, zap, 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 zap. But you... But this God doesn't do that, now does he? He expects his uh, children, if you will, to suffer in pain over and over again, year after year, and still be loyal. And he expects it as a test of loyalty, too. Now, do you go beating your kid to uh, test their loyalty? No, you don't. At least I hope not. There might be times when a kid needs a spat on the rump for uh, discipline, but you don't go sitting there torturing him to make him loyal to you. If you do, you're uh, on your way to jail. If you get caught. Because you're a criminal if you're doing this. But most people are appalled by this and wouldn't do that. Sorry about all these messages coming in. I have the liberals on my chat group going nuts as usual. No biggie. Volume and fire have just been released upon all. There's another title. <sighs> Judgment, repentance, an important word from whatever. You get my point. There's this unhealthy obsession in Christianity today with suffering and pain and humiliation and to me, going back to the Marquis de Sade, it looks eerily similar to what the Marquis de Sade put women and children through learn to gain his sexual pleasure. Only we're not talking about sexual pleasure here. But I'm thinking that this has turned into a form perhaps of non-sexual type masochism with uh, Christians. This whole notion that there's a badge of honor associated with suffering. And that worries me greatly. Like I said, when I was a kid, you listen to the preacher man, you put your money in the brass plate, and pass it along. And that was it. That was your religion for a week. This whole thing really, really disturbs me, folks. And you can spot all the Bible verses you want. Maybe a psychiatrist can uh, tell me if I'm 
and there's something and that and that a psychiatrist but maybe if there's a psychiatrist out there they can explain to me am I right or am I wrong is this really uh, going the way of uh, S&M of a sort or not that's what I'm asking and why would you we make laws against uh, torturing children and being mean to them. But this guy of yours does this to us. And this is what we're supposed to worship. And that bothers me greatly. I have a different vision uh, for this world involving the human race improving and eventually moving to the stars and becoming more than what we are today. That's my vision. Anyway, that's my rant for today. I thank you for watching. Uh, Christians, if you're that obsessed with suffering, then maybe you should see a doctor about that. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Oh, and your Bible verses do not qualify as a doctor. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.